What's up guys, it's Sharky Cello here again, and as you guys can tell here, this is another Tuesday installment of A Blast from the Past. This is uh, the 2004 championship deck that won. This is the original Chaos build, and as you guys can see here, it says 55 cards. Disregard that because cause back in the days, people ran so many damn extra deck cards. From Spear Reaper to Time Seal, this is the side deck card, so just to clarify on that, the guy ran 40 cards, so <laughs> he didn't run 55, like, damn, how did he win, uh, how did he win with 55 cards, World Championship, you could almost suck back then, <laughs> no, but uh, he ran 40 cards, and uh, this is the side, because, uh, oh my god, they, they ran so many extra deck cards, uh, after this, they decided only run 15. Come on, that's too damn much. Only run 15. And this is before, um, what's it called? Crap. <laughs> I just did a deck profile on it. Um, this is this was before goat control. My bad, guys. Because you guys can see here, it has elements of goat control in it. Um, pretty much the, what you see here is what evolves into go control later on because a lot of these cards gets banned right away a lot of people start you stop using them and you know it just goes crazy from there so without further ado I'm gonna show you the deck list guys first of all let's start off with the main deck and this is the original chaos deck at the time uh, the set at the time I think was an invasion of chaos so this is the original chaos deck as you guys can see here no chaos sorcerer because back then he wasn't really good when you had these two bastards on the field okay first of all blacklist soldier everybody knows what that does next is em uh, chaos emperor dragon envoy of the end and this is envoy of the beginning oh my god but uh... this card is busted oh my god let me read you what it says you know what? Let me just let me just go with the deck list first, and then I'll read you what the each one does. Uh, two Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyers, one Breaker, Shiny Angel, three DD Warrior Lady, uh, one Jinzo, two Magician of Faith, Tribe Infecting Virus, Magical Scientist, Witch of the Black Forest, Sangin, Sinister Serpent, Nobleman of Cross Out, um, Creature Swap, Pot of At Pot of Greed, my bad, um, Graceful Charity. Mirage of Nightmare, Monster Reborn, Premature Burial, Snatch Steel, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, two Scapegoats, one Confiscation, one Unforced Fairy Thing, <laughs> three, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm kind of sick, so, um, oops, three MSTs, Smashing Ground, Ring of Destruction, two Torrental Tributes, Call of the Haunted, Mirror Force, and for the side deck, it is Spear Reaper, Don Zulu, Air Knight Parshoff, Mystic Tomato, Berserk Gorilla, um, Creature Swap, Three Book of Moon, God, I wish we can get that back, another Mo Nobleman of Cross Out, Wabaku, uh, Two Royal Decree, Magic Cylinder and Time Seal. I don't know why he has Time Seal on the side. He should have it in the main deck. It's such a good card. Okay, uh, next, of course, is Dark Blader, uh, Ryushin, Thousand's Eyes Restrict, Fiend, uh, Fiend Skull Dragon, Roaring Sea Snake, uh, Pursuitant Eagle, the Eagle Guy, uh, the Knight, this Knight Guy, <laughs> this King Guy, this Ghost Guy. Reaper of the Nightmare, Black Skull Dragon, which I really don't know how the hell he... I think he was just running this for, like, good luck or whatever, because there's no way you can get it out. No freaking way. Not even with this. You can't get it. Only level only uh, level 6 or lower. And this is, like, what is it? Uh, a 9, I think? Yeah, a 9. How the hell do you get that? Oh, my God. Uh, and last but not least, Dark Flare Dragon. Uh, Dark Fire Dragon, my bad. So let's talk about the deck, guys. This, of course, is the original Chaos deck, and uh, it revolves around bringing your own big ass Chaos monsters out and not letting your opponent bring out their own Chaos monsters out. That's why he runs Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, because he does not want your. You pretty much don't want your opponent to uh, get their Chaos monsters out, because once they do, you're fucked. There's nothing you can do. So, uh, first. You guys should know what most of these cards do, so I'm going to go with the cards that you guys don't know. 
Envoy of the End. What this card does is that, of course, special summon by one uh, light and dark monster in the graveyard removed from play. Pay up to 2,000 life points to send all cards in both players' hands and on the field to the graveyard. Inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card sent to the graveyard by this effect. This guy's too damn good. That's why he can never come back. <laughs> I can understand Blacklist's Soldier because uh, he does kind of have a condition cost, like uh, when he wants to remove from play or... Uh, nowadays, since there's no priority, so you can't use his effect right away, and there's cards like Effect Veiler and all that that can just disrupt them, and there people run Spear Reaper, and there's a lot of cards that disrupt this, and not like this, where this just blows up the field, and you can still attack, and then uh, they have no advantage anymore in their hand, and you have a 3,000 beater. This, at least your opponent keeps his advantage, and he finds a way to uh, to destroy him. That's why they brought this one back. And plus with priority, you know, all this other good stuff. This card does not give your opponent any advantage. They draw one card. It's just a top decking war. They set the card. Let's say it's a mirror force. They're just going to activate, pay a thousand, destroy that card, and then attack for another third, uh, 3,000. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, these cards are too damn good. Especially this one. Uh, next, Kaiku does Ghost Destroyer, of course, inflict battle damage. Remove two cards from your opponent's graveyard. This is really good against the mirror match, like, like I said, which that's all they had. Every everybody in the top 32 was playing this deck, and uh, I remember seeing one guy have his extra deck with 80 cards. I think, I think that guy was just trolling. He probably had like two deck boxes, one for his deck and one for his side, and the other one for his extra deck. Um, next is Breaker. Back then, Breaker was limited to one because a 1900 beater was too damn good. I mean, really good, and the ability to pop a card was even more awesome. So Breaker was limited to one back in the day. Uh, Shining Angel, I think this was limited to one. Uh, I really don't know. I have to look up in that. In that, I know a lot of uh, cards like Mystic Tomato and all this other good stuff was limited to one back then. And I, I assume Shining Angel was limited to one. Uh, but the reason why Shining Angel is in here is to get out your DD Warrior Ladies fast. Because uh, when they bust out these bastards, what you're going to want to do is just ram into them. Bring out DD War Lady and then ram it to them to remove it from play so you can, you know, set up your combo pieces next next uh, turn. But uh, <clears throat> DD Warrior Lady just. Uh, Shining Angel and DD Warrior Lady just here to remove crap from play, especially these big ass things. Next is Jinzo. Of course, everybody should know what Jinzo does. Magician of Faith already explained that, you know, with cards like Confiscation and uh, Forceful Sanction. And cards like Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, you know, Monster Reborn. You just want to abuse that. Uh, Toshiki Omi did not, was not released yet. So, uh, I think it was released in the next pack. But, uh, yeah, they, they would abuse. It wouldn't be much abuse like the Toshiki Omi and Magician of Faith combo. But, you know, people will still use it. <coughs> next is Tribe Infecting Virus, of course get rid of big monsters. Uh, Magical Scientist, this card was really good, especially when you uh, deal special with some of these guys, you know, just, um, I mean, not remove them, but uh, send them to the graveyard, tribute them for your Jinzo, and the next turn, just play your Monster Reborn or your Premature Burial to get them back, so pretty much people will combo it off with the, the Reaper of Nightmare, and just uh, with Jinzo and Reaper of Nightmare, they can do crap. <laughs> Uh, Witch of the Black Forest, of course, to get Sangin, this, every, almost everything. I mean, you can even get out Jinzo. The only thing you can't get out is DD Warrior Ladies and these bastards right here. But other than that, you can get out pretty much everything with DD, uh, with, uh, Witch of the Black Forest. Sangin, everybody knows what Sangin does. Sinister Serpent, I already explained that in my last video. You know, to Scarred in my, uh, <clears throat> my Go Control video. If you want, I will I will link that down below. So uh, you know, just uh, send this guy to the graveyard, abuse it, all this other good stuff. Noble man, creature swap, all this other good stuff. Okay, Ramadra Nightmare with three MSTs. This card was pretty freaking broken. What it does is that during your standby phase, uh, draw cards until you have four in your hand. During your stand wait, during your opponent's standby phase, my bad. Draw cards until you have four cards in hand of course. Um, during your standby phase, remove, randomly discard the same number of cards you drew 
with this card effect. So before your standby phase, you'll just MST it, and you will still you'll plus two no matter what. Always you'll plus two, and you'll get like so many damn cards in your hand. This card was too damn good in the time, and it still is. It just gives too much advantage. And then if you, and if you uh, draw into your uh, chaos monsters, and you don't, uh, you need fodder, you need fuel. You'll just discard, you know, the light and the dark and just bust them open. Uh, of course, these cards, everybody should know what these cards do. That's because uh, I explained them in my last video. Okay, confiscation. What this card does is that it's a delinquent duo, but you actually get to look at your opponent's hand. Pay 1,000 light points, look at your opponent's hand, select one card in, in it and discard it. Same thing with force sanction. Look at your opponent's hand, select one card among them and return them to his or her deck and then shuffle. This is a... Uh, uh, a modern day crap <laughs> well this is delinquent duo and this is way better than delinquent duo because you you pretty much look at your opponent's hand and you get to choose while delinquent duo you pay a thousand your opponent discards two so he gets to choose so if he has the sinister serpent he's going to discard that and uh, that's the difference between this and delinquent duo because this is way better than delinquent duo um, this is a modern day trap dust shoe even though trap trap death shoot is bad, but uh, trap death shoot selects a monster, and this is to select any card in hand. So this card is way better than trap death shoot because trap death shoot is a trap, and you have to select a monster. While this, you can select anything. Pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, MSTs, of course, and uh, nothing else to be explained because we should know what all these things does. Like Spirit Reaper, Donzalu. What this card does is that it's a 1400 beater monster when it inflicts battle damage you can discard one random card from your opponent's hand or send two cards from the top deck to the graveyard from your opponent's deck to the graveyard uh... you're not going to use this you're not going to use this effect because you're just going to fuel your your opponent's chaos build you're just going to discard one random card like spear reaper uh... next is air knight parshoff you know as you guys can see this is transforming into the goat control just a little bit of changes here and there, and it's Goat Control. Uh, Mystic Tomato, Berserk Gorilla, because 2,000 points is really powerful, even though it had a really bad effect where all you had to do was book it and it gets destroyed. <laughs> but, uh, no, my bad. All they had to do was, yeah, they book it, they get destroyed, or they'll just put it in defense mode. That's what come when Tsushikiyomi came out, people start stopped playing this card, because uh, Tsushikiyomi just book it into the We'll just put it in defense and just run it over. Um, creature swap, of course. Three book, nobleman, and all this other good stuff. Time seal is a really good card. What it does is that your opponent skips his next draw phase, and I think you can only play one at the time. But this guy should have put it in here, you know. Stop the advantage and um, no more to be said with the extra deck except this. I don't know how the hell he get this out. <laughs> but other than that, that's pretty much the deck list, guys. The original Chaos Bill. So tell me what you guys think. Please thumbs this up. I love doing this. I hope I can get 10 thumbs up. And uh, tell me your experience. If you guys played with this format. If you guys, uh, you know, experienced this deck or whatever. Uh, give me your explanations. Comment down below. You know, favorite the video if you like. And uh, that's pretty much it. Later's YouTube Peace. And next Tuesday will be another deck list video. And don't worry guys, more videos to come. There's YouTube Peace and I'm done here.